we don't want to see this. Nobody wants to see kids get hurt, uh, even adults. But kids are, it's, it's, a, it's a whole different ball game when kids are involved. First of five, the community of Verdigris is heartbroken after police say three children were murdered by their mother before she took her own life. Today, we're hearing from those who knew the victims and from advocates who say these kind of tragedies are happening too often. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Jonathan Cooper. The Verdigris police chief says the mother, Brandy McCaslin, held a woman hostage in her garage, and then hours later, officers found Brandy and three of her children dead inside the home. We start our team coverage with News on 6's Kristen Weaver, who has a message from, of comfort from a pastor who knew the woman involved. Kristen? Well, Jonathan, a pastor at a Claremore church tells me that mother had a lot of mental health struggles in her life. He says, while this doesn't excuse what happened, there must be empathy for everyone going through this. Verdigris police say one of their officers was alerted of the hostage situation after a woman fired off a Roman candle from the garage of this home yesterday afternoon. Chief Jack Shackelford says the woman had gone to the home with the child belonging to the mother, Brandy McCaslin, and two of her own kids. The woman told officers Brandy took her phone and held her at gunpoint before taking Brandy's child and leaving the woman and her two kids trapped in the garage until the woman lit the firework and officers began that standoff. We're trying to call the the uh, mother of the children out. Uh, they called her numerous times on the PA system, called her on the telephone, no response. Officers eventually went into a back bedroom and found Brandy and three of her children, 11-year-old No, 6-year-old Bryce, and 10-month-old Billy, dead inside. We were just stunned. You certainly don't expect it to end in a scenario like this. Josh Kerr is the pastor at First Presbyterian Claremore. He says Brandy grew up in the church and they did camp together. Kerr says Brandy struggled with a lot in her life and this was likely a mental health crisis. Lots of tragedy, um, suicides in the family, um, drug use, uh, just all of the brokenness that we see in our communities all the time. He says he and many others are shocked, angry, and heartbroken, but he also called for something more. There also needs to be empathy and sincere grief and some compassion. And Chief Shackelford says his officers have been to the house many times before for child welfare and domestic violence issues. And two child custody lawsuits are ongoing with two fathers of Brandy's children. Live in Verdigris, Kristen Weaver, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.